everybody, this is Kyle, and here I am with Matthew again. This is another clip from a live stream that we did. And here I introduce Matthew to Snarky Puppy. And Snarky Puppy is one of the darlings of the jazz community. So take a listen to Lingus with us and see what you think. Here is a live performance of the song Lingus. And this became very viral because the, the keyboard player is doing a solo. Musicians that, that love to listen to improvising, music fans that, that love that jazz jam atmosphere. You can really get into this guy's solo and think about what he's doing musically. You can see his expression where he's playing and he's like, oh, this, this is dope. You know, this is, this is really working. And this is really fun to capture some of that live energy on video. So without further ado, music teacher reacts to Snarky Puppy Lingus. <laughs>
love the energy. Oh yeah. They're so tight.
Kopi Monokopi, everybody. That was pretty awesome. Snarky puppy. That was impressive, dude. Yeah. Well, and like I was saying, the, the the way that that video captures that energy, that performance, is just so cool. I I don't know if you noticed this. If you don't know music, like if you don't play, often in a situation like that, you would have sheets up for music, at least chord changes or something. And pretty much nobody had sheets out. There are a couple of music stands, and by couple, I mean like maybe two or three. All the musicians, mm -hmm. for the most part, except for maybe those couple, were looking at each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that was something you know, pre-written, pre-arranged and stuff with, you know, gaps left for uh, different musicians to improvise. Mm -hmm. But that's really cool for something that, that in depth and they're just in the zone, you know, and you know that the rest of the show is going to be like that too. And, and to have those moments come up like that is, is so awesome, you know, for the audience, for the performers, for us to get to see it on video. This is my first reaction to Snarky Puppy. It drew a parallel in my mind. I, I'm a big fan of Dream Theater's keyboard player, um, Jordan Rudis. And I feel like Jordan Rudis adds that little bit of smidgen of jazz and old school piano where necessary to Dream Theater. And, and, and you know, the phrasing is really I think yeah. what was because his phrasing on the keyboard but also I really also enjoyed the, the trumpet player solo I really enjoyed the tenor saxophone solo the, the trumpet solo it sounded like it had a wah mute on it but there was no mute so it must have been some sort of a digital either a wah wah pedal or a, a, a envelope filter or something that he had in the signal yeah um, for the saxophone solo I heard like a, a slap back almost like a 50s ish kind of delay with like a very very um, a reverb that was um, like a like a, a, a like a hall reverb like a bright like kind of shiny hall sound um, it was great and then and then that keyboard solo man the guy was just all over those synthesizer knobs as he was playing like constantly yeah. tweaking the sound and it was pretty epic in, in, in my opinion I feel like at in the last minute or two the keyboards might have been just a little bit too loud like when the whole band was going along with the keyboard player yeah isn't that every um, keyboard player's problem in a band? I mean, I, well, playing in a bands with keyboard players, they're always too loud. No, at some I'm, point. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 look, I, I'm not trying to say anything bad. I'm just saying if oh, I yeah. was the sound guy for the last minute or two, I probably would have shaved one dB off of the lead keyboard. That's all, that's off, <laughs> you know, was, but, um, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us. If you have some ideas for something else to react to, please let me know in the comments. See you next time.